Hey, I'm Arjun, CEO of Doula, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you 30 side hustles for the weekend so that you can start making some extra cash today. Side hustles not only provide financial benefits, but also they offer a chance to explore new interests you might have and develop skills you're looking to develop. However, not all side hustles are created equal. Some require a significant time commitment or a unique skill set, while others can be done from the comfort of your home. In this video, I'm gonna help you explore some of the best side hustles for the weekend so you can start earning extra income without sacrificing your free time. Let's dive in. Selling on digital marketplaces. One of the quickest and easiest ways to make money on the weekends is to sell items online. Whether it's clothes, books, electronics, antiques, or something else, you can create an account with eBay, Etsy, Amazon, or any other online marketplace and start listing your items right away. You'll need to factor in the time spent researching prices, taking photos, and writing descriptions. But if you play your cards right, you can make a good amount of money from selling online. Freelance writer. If you have a knack for words, why not put it to use by becoming a freelance writer? You can find writing jobs in a variety of topics, from online content to blog posts and even books. Although the pay rate can vary, you can usually make a decent income as a freelance writer over the weekend. Pet sitting. Many pet owners are looking for someone trustworthy and reliable to look over their beloved pets while they're away or on vacation. So why not consider pet sitting as a way to earn some extra cash? You can post ads in your local area or even sign up with an online service like Rover. Take surveys. Surveys are usually short in length and you can complete them whenever you have a few spare moments. Survey sites typically pay around $1 to $5 per survey. So while it may not be a huge amount, you can still make some decent money over a few weeks or months. It really adds up. Food delivery driver. If you have a car and are looking for an easy way to make some extra cash on the side, consider becoming a food delivery driver. With apps like Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub, you can pick up orders from local restaurants and deliver them to your customers in your area. The great thing about being a delivery driver is that you can work as much or as little as you want. Website developer. Although it may take some time to build your portfolio, you can make a decent amount of money as a web developer. You could start by offering services such as a website design, logo design, or even SEO optimization and branch out from there. Plus, you don't have to work full time if you don't want to. You can choose when and how much work you want to take on. English teacher. There are a variety of options available for those looking to teach English on the weekends. One option is teaching individuals, either one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. Private tutoring allows you to set your own rates and hours, so you can easily find a student base that fits with your schedule. Alternatively, there are online teaching platforms such as italki, where you can teach English to students from all over the world. Fitness trainer. Whether you're a certified personal trainer or just starting, teaching a fitness class can be a great way to earn extra income. When planning your fitness class, consider what type of exercises you will focus on and what skills your participants should have. You'll need to consider the size of the class, what equipment you will need, and whether or not to charge a fee. Once you have all these details sorted out, you can start advertising your class. And soon, you'll be on your way to making some extra cash and getting fit. Brand ambassador. As a brand ambassador, you would be responsible for representing a company's products or services in front of potential customers. This could include attending events, distributing samples, and speaking with people about the brand. You also need to have excellent communication skills and an outgoing personality in order to be successful. Freelance tailor. As a freelance tailor, you'll be able to make extra money by taking on custom orders from clients and creating one-of-a-kind clothing items. You don't need to open a custom tailoring shop in order to make money. You can simply take orders and sue them in your home. Plus, if you have a large network of friends and family, this could be a great way to advertise your services. Mystery shopper. Do you like to shop? Well, mystery shoppers are hired by companies to evaluate their customer service, to evaluate their product quality, and to evaluate the overall customer experience. To be a successful mystery shopper, you must be detail-oriented, have great communication skills, and be able to provide honest feedback about your experience. 
home staging. Home staging is an important part of selling a home as it can help make the space look more attractive to potential buyers. If you have a knack for interior design or know how to make homes look their best, then you should consider offering your services as a home stager on weekends. You can then help homeowners organize and rearrange their furniture and decor in their home so that it looks their best every single day. Tour guide. Tour guides provide visitors with an entertaining and informative experience, taking them through different landmarks or attractions and providing interesting facts and anecdotes along the way. It's a great opportunity to meet new people, explore your city, and make some extra cash. Plus, you can again set your own hours and rates. Sports coach. As a sports coach, you'll be responsible for teaching the fundamentals of the sport to children or adults of all ages. You'll need to be patient and organized to effectively guide your team or individual players on the team to help them grow. Furthermore, you can also set your own hours and rates making it easy to fit this side gig into your weekend schedule. Tutoring. With tutoring, you can pick your own hours and set your own rates. You can also choose what type of subject or level of student you want to work with. One great thing about tutoring is that it can be done from anywhere. You don't have to meet the student face to face. You can use online tools such as Skype or Zoom to tutor students from the comfort of your home. You can easily fit tutoring into your weekend schedule. Blogging. With the rise of digital media, bloggers have an opportunity to share their unique perspectives and share their expertise with a wide audience at the click of a button. Whether you're passionate about fashion, technology, travel, or any other subject, there's plenty of potential in blogging. You can start a blog, write content, and monetize it with ads or even affiliate links. You can also work on your blog wherever and whenever you have the time, making it a great side hustle for busy weekends, even a side hustle you can work on when you're at the beach. Podcasting. Starting a podcast in this day and age is relatively inexpensive and doesn't require any special equipment or software. The first step to getting started is to first decide on a topic and a format for your podcast. Then you can start recording and producing episodes. Once you have some content published, you can then monetize it with ads or sponsorships. Vlogging. Starting your own YouTube channel could be an exciting and rewarding side hustle. Not only can you make money from ad revenue, but you also have the opportunity to reach people from all around the world with your videos. Before launching your channel, decide on what type of content you want to produce. You can then create videos on just about any topic, from beauty and fashion tutorials to video game reviews. Once you have some content uploaded, you can then start monetizing monetizing your channel with ads and sponsorships. Affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a type of performance-based marketing in which you, the affiliate, earn a commission for referring customers or visitors to another website. As an affiliate marketer, you can promote products from other companies and then you receive a commission when somebody completes a purchase or signs up for that service. It's a fantastic way to make money over the weekend with minimal effort. Quite literally, you're making money while not doing active work. Virtual assistant. If you're looking for a flexible side hustle that you can do on the weekends, consider becoming a virtual assistant. Virtual assistants are hired by businesses and entrepreneurs to complete tasks such as scheduling appointments, organizing files, and responding to customer emails. To become a successful virtual assistant, you need to have excellent organizational skills, strong communication skills, and you also have to be comfortable with using technology. Rent out property. If you have a spare room or even an entire house, you should consider renting it out to the tourists on the weekend. Not only will you make some extra money, but you'll also get the chance to meet pretty interesting people from all over the world. Waiter. Working as a waiter on the weekends can be an excellent way to make some extra money. Not only is it fairly easy to find a job in most cities, but it also allows you to work flexible hours and potentially take home some decent tips. Depending on where you work, you could even end up working with friends and meeting new people. Bartender. While formal training is not required to become a bartender, it is highly recommended. You can take classes or get on the job training to learn the skills you need to succeed in this field. Plus, you can set your own hours and rates, making it easy to fit into your weekend schedule. Event Planner Assistant. As an event planner assistant, your opportunities will vary depending on the needs of each event. Generally, you will assist with the planning and coordination of events, such as weddings, corporate functions, and other special occasions. You may be in charge of managing vendors, setting up decorations, and 
helping with administrative tasks. Lawn maintenance worker. If you are looking for a way to make some extra money on the weekends, becoming a lawn maintenance worker can be a great option. It can be incredibly satisfying as a job and one that you take pride in when transforming lawns into beautiful outdoor spaces with brilliant aesthetics. The responsibilities of a lawn maintenance worker include mowing, edging, trimming, fertilizing, aerating, and more. Handy person. A handy person is someone who does odd jobs and small repairs around people's homes and businesses. You can easily advertise your services online or go door to door to offer your services. This type of job is perfect for the weekend because people often need someone to come in and do repairs or odd jobs on a Saturday or Sunday. Lifeguard. As a lifeguard, you'll be responsible for ensuring the safety of swimmers at pools and beaches. You'll need to pass specific courses in order to become certified. But once you do, it can be a great way to make some extra money on the weekends. You can even set your own hours and rates, making it easy to fit into your weekend schedule. Rideshare driver. With the rise of ride-sharing companies such as Uber and Lyft, it's easier than ever to become a driver and start earning some extra money on the side. The great thing about being a rideshare driver is that you can set your own hours and you can choose when you want to work. You don't even have to own a car. Many rideshare companies offer rental options so you can get on the road as soon as possible. Nanny or caretaker. Whether it's providing full-time living care or part-time babysitting, being a nanny or caretaker is a great way to make some extra money on the side. As a nanny or caretaker, you provide quality care and supervision to children while their parents are away. Depending on the family's needs, this may include providing meals, playing games, helping with homework, and taking the kids to different types of activities. Security guard or bouncer. Security guards and bouncers typically work in bars, clubs, and other entertainment establishments. They do this to ensure safety and order among guests. As a security guard or bouncer, you will be responsible for monitoring the premises, checking IDs, and intervening into any dangerous or unruly situations. To become a security guard or a bouncer, you must have the physical capability to do the job, which includes strength and stamina. You should also be knowledgeable about safety protocols and procedures within the company, and you must possess excellent interpersonal skills in case you need to defuse any situations. Starting a side hustle during the weekend can offer a variety of benefits, from providing extra income to helping you gain valuable skills. If you aren't sold yet, here are three reasons why you should consider starting a side hustle on the weekend. Number one, you can make some extra money. If you're looking for a way to supplement your income or you just need some extra cash for everyday expenses, taking on a side hustle is a great way to do so. Plus, many side hustles offer flexible hours, making it easy to fit them into your schedule. Number two, you can gain new skills and experiences. Another great benefit to side hustles is that they can help you gain valuable skills and experience. Whether you're looking to learn a new trade or just brush up on your existing ones, side hustles offer the perfect opportunity for you to do so. Number three, enjoy flexibility. Side hustles truly do offer incredible flexibility. Unlike a traditional job or your traditional nine to five, a side hustle allows you to work when you want and where you want, making it easy to fit into your schedule. Since most side hustles can be done remotely or online, you can even do them from the comfort of your own home or the beach. Last but not least, I'm going to walk through how you can start a side hustle on the weekend in five steps. Number one, identify your strengths. The first step in starting a side hustle is to identify your strengths. Think about your skills. Think about skills that you have that could be marketable and then figure out how you can use those skills to make money. Number two, research your target market. Once you've identified your area of expertise, it's time to do some market research for your service or product. Research who your potential customers are and research their needs so that you can tailor your offering accordingly. Number three, create a business plan. Next up, you should create a business plan for how you will launch your side hustle. Consider everything from the resources and materials you'll need to pricing, marketing, strategies, and any legal or accounting requirements. Number four, promote your hustle. This is an important step you shouldn't forget. After you've created your business plan, it's time to start promoting your side hustle. Utilize social media, utilize word of mouth, and utilize any other promotional methods you can think of to get the word out about what you are offering. Number five, monitor and adjust. Finally, once your side hustle is up and running, it's important to monitor its performance and adjust your business plan accordingly. That's a wrap. If you have any questions about side hustles, starting your side hustle, or starting your dream business, do not hesitate to reach out and let me know. I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.